like the players are saying, I don't need to be the highest paid player on an annual basis anymore. That's not my trophy. I want X number of dollars. Cut up the cake however you want. Yes, yeah, spread it out as long as you want. And the, the average value of the contract yearly goes down because you extend these 10, 11 year contracts. I, I'm trying to figure out what has changed, right? Because we we're always told analytically that you could figure out a player in his mid to upper 30s, his production wouldn't be there. These organizations are throwing out 10, 11 year deals. Philadelphia Phillies with Bryce Harper, then they bring in Turner. A guy like Bogarts gets rewarded with a long term contract. I look at the last two on that graphic. Aaron Judge, we talked about it. Yankees needed him back. Brandon Nimmo, the same thing. He gets eight years, which he probably isn't worth that, but the Mets had a need. They had to bring him back as well. They needed a center fielder. There weren't really any others on the free agent market. They didn't want to try and execute a trade. And I think you bring up a very interesting point, Flash, and I think if we had the ability to peek into some of the offices of all of these teams, when you sign a player to a contract of that length, you are probably understanding that in the final year or two or three, you're not getting the production from that player that you signed him for. Look at the history of these long-term contracts. It's just the way that it's going to pan out. And I found it interesting, when Nimmo signed that eight-year deal, I actually had James Smythe, one of our lead researchers, look this up. Fewer than 50 players in Major League history have signed deals of eight years or more, which would sound like a lot. You must be at the top of the top to have that kind of contract. Well, four of those have happened this year. I do think that teams have said, I'm not going to worry about the age so much. And as you said, Bob, spread out the money a little bit. It helps you on the AAV front. You know what, Jack? I'm wondering, too, if they're not worried about the financial part of it, eight, nine, 9, 10, 11 years down the road. We don't know what this game is going to look right, like at that right. point. You might be making $40 million a year, and it might be a bargain. So these organizations now, it's in the win-now mode. We'll worry about it later on. And the luxury tax penalty levels are probably going to go up as well as the game grows as well.